Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are here for yet another 3D printer unboxing. I have in front of me the TiVo Tornado. This is a $350 entry level 3D printer uh, made by a company called TiVo. They've been around for quite a while in the 3D printing industry. They have a number of other printers and this is their largest one yet. So they have reached out to me and asked if I would like a model to review and try out and I said of course. But just like everything else on this channel, uh, this will be my unbiased opinion when I do a review on this machine and they're not paying me or anything like that. And I've been assured that this is a consumer level model, so shouldn't be, you know, specialty picked or anything like that. So we should be able to see exactly what you would get if you were to get one of these machines. So I figured we'd uh, break it open and see what this is about. So this is a standard FDM 3D printer. Uh, means that it uses the rolls of plastic filaments. And the, uh, it has a couple exciting things. It is mostly a giant printer. That's one of its big selling points is it has a 12 inch by 12 inch by 16 inch build area. So that is a pretty big build area especially for a $350 machine. So just opening it up, we are greeted with a, an assembly manual. Just a little, little bits of documentation here and a lot of packaging. So the great thing about this is that it comes mostly assembled. Um, it actually ships in about three separate parts that should be pretty easy to put together so a lot of people are saying about a 40 minute assembly time and you're ready to print. Uh, so let me pull out some of this packaging. So the first bit here is the actual brains of the printer. This is a control box uh, made of nice folded sheet metal. Has your standard Arduino little LCD screen and a knob in order to control it. It does have a full size SD card slots. Um, but you can also plug it in via USB and all of the cables are nicely tagged and uh, sheathed. So there is the control box. Also in here are a bunch of uh, just additional pieces. So we have a scraper that interestingly enough has the plastic inside of the wooden handle here. That's that's interesting. A few other bits and pieces. So these are some of the corner pieces uh, to help assemble the printer. We have the some of the screws. This would be for the heated bed. And your standard uh, nuts and bolts and uh, wrenches. So they include a bunch of wrenches. That's handy. The power cord, of course. A few other cables. We've got the thermistors and some uh, zip ties, the other corner piece here, and a pretty short USB cable, and the Bowden tube. So the extruder is not directly on the X carriage. It is a Bowden tube system. So that is the middle part here. So now we can actually get to the main bit of the machine. So this is a Cartesian 3D printer, meaning that it is a X, Y, and Z axis machine. If I can just pull this out. Oh, that was some more packaging here. So this thing has a lot of foam and it is pretty nicely packaged. Um, so I'd be surprised if anything was damaged during shipping. If I can get it out here. There we go. So like I said, this comes mostly assembled. It comes in three separate pieces. So this is the X axis here. So it would actually be standing upright just like this, where you have the X axis moving upwards and then the, uh, the yeah, the Z-axis moving upwards and the X-axis where the hot end is. So I'm going to lay this down. The hot end itself 
is a Titan extruder. So it's based off of the E3D Titan. They have done their, our TiVo has taken that open source design and probably made a few tweaks and used that in the printer. That is a pretty high quality uh, extruder and hot end. So it's exciting to see that they would provide that in such a, uh, you know, entry level machine like the Tornado. And here is the base of the printer. You can see that it is a big print area. Uh, so this is a 12 inch by 12 inch build area or a uh, 300 by 300 millimeter area. And the Y axis is fully assembled. So let me hold this, make sure there's nothing else in this box, which it doesn't appear to be. So I'm gonna slide that off the table. And now we can get a good look at the Y axis and the hotbed. Cable out from underneath. So the awesome thing about this heat bed is that it's actually an AC powered hot heat bed. What that means is that it's directly connected to mains voltage. Um, it's not powered by DC, it plugs directly into AC, which means that it should heat up really quick. And that's important with such a large build area. Sometimes the build plates like this could take a while to heat up at 12 volts DC. So often you would want to convert yours to a 24 volt system. This skips that entirely and instead jumps directly to 110 volt AC. Uh, so it's directly powered by your outlet. So I'm curious to see just how fast it actually heats up. And we can see here that when they actually ship it to you, it comes with a print already on the bed. Uh, so this is the TiVo logo, but it's actually printed on the bed. So I'm guessing that they've, you know, done some quality assurance when they put the printer together, they made sure it printed before shipping it out. Uh, so that's cool. looks like a, you know, decent first couple of layers. Uh, and that's it, three pieces, and uh, should be pretty easy to put together. So that will come in future videos. I'm excited to get this thing together and try it out. Um, I've heard, you know, pretty good things about it, so I'm just curious to see how it works. So thank you guys for joining me on this unboxing. Um, if you have uh, example prints that you would like to see in a 12 by 12 by 16 build area, um, I would love to hear your comments down below. Give me, you know, suggestions for that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a fully assembled TiVo Tornado.